Hi there. Another, another little video. This is three in one day from uh, Bruce's awesome man cave. So this is Bruce Phoenix from the UK Night Vision Forum, and you'll see us both on there. Myself, Russ Douglas, two to two, and Bruce is resident guru on the Night Vision Forum, and Bruce is Phoenix. This is a little extra video for a stock mod Bruce has had done, and he, he really wanted to give credit to the people who did this. So let me just, without further ado, I shall turn this around. Yep. Okay, this is my CZ527 in 2.2 Hornet. And... Uh, straight away, bolts clear. Bolts clear, nothing, no bolt, nothing in it. No, no ammunition, no, no magazine. No, no. Okay. And this is a, this is a great long-range rabbit rifle, short-range fox rifle. Now, at the moment, it's got a scope on it that doesn't need any adjustment of the comb because it's low enough. But when you use typically something like a pard on this, the scope's high up and you really need some sort of cheek razor. And I've looked at a few different types and nothing had really done it for me. And then I came across some photographs of a stock that had been done by a company called M.A. Rainback, a guy called Mike Rainback down in Dorsetshire. I contacted him, asked him if he could do the CZ, and he said, of course, we can do it. So I sent him just the stock. He did the job and he sent it back to me and I'm absolutely delighted with it. You can see here, this is where the, 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 the stock rises up to adjust. You can also see, or what you can't see, are any screws. And if I turn it around like that, you can't see any screws at that side either. Brilliant. So when I got it from him, my first thought was, my God, that looks beautiful, but how do I adjust it? I called him and he explained it to me. Very simple. You simply twist. And pull. Ah. Twist. And pull. And you get the adjustment of the stock height. So that is a sweet. And it is truly a thing of beauty. You're impressed, aren't you, I Bruce? Am, I am so impressed with this. I just, words almost fail me. I mean, so the, what quality, was... the quality of the workmanship is what? just fantastic. So what's the company again, Bruce? M.A. Rainback. They're in uh, Dorsetshire somewhere. I can't remember exactly where, but if you bear with me a second. Down in Dorset. So I'll, I'll tell you. I'll include, I'll include the link down below once I get it from Bruce. They are in Dorchester. Dorchester. They're in Dorchester. Dorchester. All ah, right. M A Rainback. There we go. So I ain't going to tell you how much they charge me because that's between me and my Rainback. <laughs> uh, but I'm very, 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 very happy with the job that's been done. This has made, really made this rifle for me now. I, uh, I've tried it with this. I've tried it with a pard on it and a couple other things that need a bit more cheek height, and I can adjust this so it is absolutely perfect. So I am a very happy boy with this. So thank you, Mike. You and your guys did a great job, and you deserve, you know, all the all the credit I can give you. Excellent. Well, if if this video edits okay, then I'll uh, I'll uh, get in touch with Mike, and I'll uh, I'll send him a link if he wants to include this with his advertising on his website, because that's a lovely stock. That's beautifully finished. Um. Yes. Yeah. It's very terrific, nice, terrific job. Very nice piece of work. Excellent. And what caliber rifle is this again, Bruce? Two two Hornet. Two two Hornet. One of the smaller center fair calibers you'll get. So. That's a Hornet case. It's not very big. It's a two two Hornet. So two, it's, two it's, Hornet. it's a nicked down cartridge. It's a rimmed cartridge. Right. And okay. It's, it's a very very old cartridge design. Two two Hornet. Okay. Uh, it dates from a god. Oh, probably the best part of a hundred years. Not, it's not a very efficient design, but it's a super little cartridge, very easy to load. Mm -hmm. um, no, there's virtually no load development needed for 2-2 Hornet. There's only one type of powder you'd ever want to use, it's called Hogden Little Gun. You fill the case and you stick a bullet in and that's it. <laughs> 13 grains of powder and any bullet between 35 grains and 45 grains and you're good to go. Excellent. I'm shooting 40 grain VMAX out of this and they are doing... 2,900 feet per second, which is more than enough to kill a fox at 150 yards. Excellent. So, and that's a sweet looking rifle with it. It is. I've got a set up for, um, the, the problem with rim cartridges is you get what's called rim lock. When you use a magazine and the, the rims can trip on each other, and if you get uh, a cartridge below the one you want to load, which is in front of the one above it, then the one on top can't move forward. It mm -hmm. can't 
come out and go into the chamber. Yeah. Um, so what I've done is, because I'm only shooting hundreds of cartridges, I use what's called a single loading sled. Okay. Right, so it's just a plastic adapter that goes in in place of the magazine. And now I just manually load one round at a time. Ah, right, okay. Single shot loading. Single okay. shot. Okay. Th that gives me the benefit of being able to load the cartridge longer. In other words, I can use a longer bullet, okay. which might be too long for the magazine. Mm -hmm. But because I'm single loading, I can use a longer bullet uh, and get the benefits of a, a, a higher ballistic coefficient bullet than you could if you had to use a short bullet just to make sure it fitted into the magazine. Nice. So, great. I mean, yeah. People who shoot hornets are kind of strange bunch. We've got a aficionado there. <laughs> <Excellent>. <laughs> it's also extremely cheap to reload. I can reload hornet for less than I can buy HMR. Right. Okay. The the brass the the the, the costs of reloading are very 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 reasonable. Excellent. So, no, no problem at all. So anyway, but thank you very much for showing us this stock, Bruce. That's uh, that's right, sweet. You can edit all my ramblers a bit too too hard. You know, and, and oh, no, I might don't want to detract from anything. No, I've, no, no. Pause it. I said about Michael Rainback because I'm just totally, totally in love with this stock now. <laughs> Excellent. Because like it's a thing of beauty. Thanks very much for sharing your uh, thoughts there, and Michael Rainback, that's a sweet bit of work on that stock. Invisible stock raiser functionality, nice one, nice cheek piece.